General Motors has announced that all of their latest and upcoming electric vehicles will no longer support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a decision that has caused concern for drivers and customers alike. This means that drivers will not be able to mirror their mobile devices on their vehicle's infotainment displays. But why did GM decide to ditch both popular mirroring apps from their vehicles? Let's line out the reasons and what GM intends to achieve in the long run. When asked why they chose to eliminate CarPlay from their EVs, the executive director of Digital Cockpit at General Motors stated that they prefer not to create features that solely cater to mobile phone users, as not everyone possesses a smartphone. Their life, Altify will redefine the ownership experience because it will give people the ability to update and improve their vehicles just like they can do with their phone. However, this response seems unclear since virtually everyone who can afford a $50,000 vehicle owns a smartphone. After conducting research, it was discovered that the reason for the elimination of CarPlay and Android Auto is not only to improve the navigation system to enhance Super Cruise and Ultra Cruise performance, but it is also about the company getting more feedback from customers and generating more revenue from monthly subscriptions. This plan has been drawn since 2021 when General Motors announced it expect its in-car subscription service to generate $25 billion by the end of 2030. But how is it going to happen? GM plans to launch a software similar to Android Auto and Apple CarPlay called the Ultify Software Platform. Think of Ultify as a phone operating system for cars. It will be integrated into GM's next-gen electric vehicles lineup and IC vehicles, enabling over-the-air updates, more sophisticated self-driving support, connected car features, and native additions of sought-after apps like Google Maps and Spotify. Fortunately for those who formerly owned any Cadillac, Buick, or other GM's vehicles or EVs, they will not be cut off from Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, even though GM's Ultify software is powered by Google. Tesla is one of the automakers that do not offer Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, connected to their infotainment system, yet they have been excelling in sales, despite customers requesting these software features to be added to their updates. As for customers and GM fans, some owners believe that the company will be losing market share to those who do offer CarPlay and Android Auto. Others believe that GM's decision is simply a ploy to obtain more data and charge more subscription fees. Nevertheless, the battle is at stake, and it remains to be seen whether GM will keep making more from their stock or lose customers in the future. What do you think about General Motors ditching Apple CarPlay and Android Auto? Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more related videos. Thanks for watching, and until next time.